good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on internal combustion engines today we are going to discuss about combustion induced spheral chambers under that first one is pre combustion chamber so <coughs> so what is the working of pre combustion chamber in the pre combustion chamber at the end of compression stroke the air is entering into the pre chamber the air is entering into the pre chamber through the orifice so when it is traveling through the orifice the air velocity is very high so that means inside the pre combustion chamber the way velocity of the air is very very high because of the swirl so if this high velocity air swirl the fuel is injected once the fuel injected it start burning so in the pre combustion chamber only 20% of the combustion is takes place only 20% of the combustion takes place after combustion after initiation of the combustion the pressure and temperatures are increased so once the pressure and temperatures are increased this products of combustion and air and fuel these three combine together and go to the main chamber with high velocity through the orifice and the remaining 80% of the combustion takes place in the main chamber itself so that means the, the remaining 80% of the air fuel mixture burn in the main chamber itself so this is the working of uh, pre combustion chamber and we need to discuss the points that we need to remember when we discuss about the pre combustion chamber the pre combustion chamber contains 20 to 30% of clearance volume so that this is the clearance volume small volume out of 20 to 30% of the clearance volume the pre combustion size is 20 to 30% of the clearance volume very small the combustion initiate in pre combustion chamber combustion initiate in the pre combustion chamber after that pressure rises see i already told you pressure rises then these combustion products after combustion the products of combustion come the products of combustion comma air and fuel particles together go to main chamber through the orifice main chamber with high velocity through the small orifice that means through the small orifice the air and the fuel and the products of combustion will go to the main combustion chamber and remaining 80% of the energy is released in the main chamber itself the remaining 80% of the fuel mixture burn in the a uh, main chamber itself the initial shock of the combustion is taken by the pre cham pre combustion chamber itself and ensures smooth running operation because the combustion starts that means initiated in the pre combustion chamber so the shock which is because of high pressure and high temperature is taken by the pre combustion chamber itself so that the engine is that means by the time it go to the here the pressure rise is uniform the rise of pressure is uniform so the engine is going to be very smooth the next point is uh, in pre combustion chamber there is a small there is a more of there is more of turbulence rather than swirl swirl is organized air movement turbulence means uh, you know zigzag motion it is a kind of swirl movement but it is not in ordinary organized way it is not organized way but by using pre combustion chamber we are getting more of turbulence than swirl so swirl is less here turbulence is more turbulence is turbulence means not an organized motion or, organized air movement but if you get swirl means that is very desirable and of course but still this is very much popular this kind of uh, arrangement is very much popular thank you very much